Hello viewers, today I want to discuss about why I stutter and why I'm not afraid to be on YouTube after this. Welcome back to the Moose Mobile Auto Repair Channel. And so today I wanted to discuss about this issue as to why I stutter and why I'm not afraid to be on YouTube. And now this topic comes about that, uh, that I've started to get some uh, nasty comments on my YouTube channel. And so the issue here is the uh, the amount of ignorance and arrogance that these people have. Now, uh, I'm getting older and older as I go along on my on my walks of life, and so it it, it doesn't really bother me anymore. But it's a it's an open topic that I wanted to discuss about. So the issue here is that uh, there's a bunch of people. It's, it seems like that uh, a lot of people out there are are not aware uh, of stuttering, and so um, these people uh, they need an education. They need an education, and they need to be put uh, into the real world uh, of things, and so. Uh, I just wanted to bring this topic up because I've been getting a lot of nasty comments in the last uh, probably few months or so. So uh, it's, it, it doesn't affect me in any way. I'm not really bothered about it, but it's just a topic that I decided to, uh, to talk about. Now, the issue is uh, you shouldn't make fun of people for their shortcomings because it's a it's a god given god given thing and so uh you you shouldn't make fun of people who have a, a disability or on whatever their their defect is it's it's part of them it's not something uh, to poke at and to make fun of people because it's not a, it's not right it's not a nice thing to do and so uh pretty much all my life uh i've had a lot of people they used to bully me to mock me because of of my of, of my speech impediment and i also i wear hearing aids i pretty much uh i have stuttered pretty much all my life and i've been hearing impaired almost all my life and so uh, I was gonna say that I didn't really introduce myself in the beginning uh, my name is Mustafa and I've stuttered all my life and I've I've worn hearing aids since around grade four grade five I was about 10 years old and I remember back in grade four I used to sit in, in front of the classroom so I could be able to hear the teacher. And so uh, at the end of, of the lesson, I wouldn't know on what to do. So I would ask some people in my class or friends and ask them on on what I'm supposed to do. And they used to tell me that, that oh, uh, you need to listen. You need to listen and, uh, and pay attention. But I, I was like, how can I listen if I can't hear, right? I was hearing impaired. I'm not sure as to the reason as to uh, on how it happened, how I had a hearing impairment. It could have been from repeated ear infections over time, but I'm really not sure. Uh, I don't know if, if I was born with it, so it's really hard to say. So ever since then, I've, I've worn hearing aids, and it, it's similar to glasses, right? It's, it's, it's very similar to glasses. Uh, when you wear glasses, your eyesight gets worse with time, 
and then eventually your eyesight stabilizes at a certain age. And it's the same with hearing. After a certain amount of time, your hearing stabilizes after some time. When you wear the hearing aids, your hearing is supposed to get slightly worse with time, and then it will generally stabilize. Now, sometimes it, it could be genes related in the family. Uh, just recently, uh, my younger brother, he just started to wear hearing aids, but he doesn't wear them all the time, just like like on special uh, occasions or when he really needs them. Uh, other than that, he, he doesn't wear them all the time. And, uh, and also... Uh, <laughs> My dad, he also had trouble hearing people sometimes, but uh, he, he has passed away, unfortunately, uh, a few years ago. Uh, may God rest his soul. My dad, usually, he, he used to hear relatively okay, but there would be some circumstances he couldn't hear people all that well. But uh, his hearing was not below normal it was pretty much at the normal level on the line if you look at the audiogram and so uh, f for people who, who who don't know much about hearing impairment or stuttering you will need to to study a, a, a little bit on uh, on the uh, on the disability or the or the defect and so anyhow uh I've grown up with this issue all my life. Used to be bullied and, and picked on in uh, elementary school, in middle school, in high school. And after high school, that's it. Everything stops for the most part. Every once in a while, you'll get people, people they make fun of me. If, if I stutter, uh, they, uh, they do weird faces and, the, and they look away. They do this. They look in the sky every time I stutter. It's kind of annoying, but uh, I sort of I've gotten used to it. But these things I, I don't really care about. It's just something I wanted to discuss with you. Now, over the years, I've had a speech therapist come to me in school. When I was in, uh, in elementary school, in, in middle school, in high school, I've had several speech therapists come to me but uh, they did not work and then eventually just around late high school college maybe 2004 2005 uh, m my stuttering got a lot worse and so around 2006 I visited a doctor in the Toronto area in Canada Ontario Toronto. Uh, there is a speech therapist. His name is Robert Crow, and unfortunately, he passed away a, a few years ago. And may God uh, rest his soul. So anyhow, I have an updated book for the, the speech therapist that I went to in 2006. It's called the the Fluency Plus program. So it's basically. Uh, talks in detail about about speech and, and stuff like that talks about in great detail i'm not going to discuss about it in this video but talks about different classes of sounds class one two three four uh, plosives and fricative sounds and stuff like that this program i, I went to a weekly program it was a non-intensive program so it would be f for one week, and I went uh, on Wednesdays for 28 weeks. And so this, the session would be for one hour. So each week is one hour. Now, t t to make this short, because I don't want to make it a very long video, uh, the issue here is that I'm not practicing enough, so I need to keep on practicing and to keep up with the, 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 uh, the, they call it uh, shaping. So the shaping is uh, roughly 20 minutes a day. 
So it's, it's similar to like when you go and exercise, exercise at the gym so you can maintain your weight to lose weight. Uh, speech treatments, or speech therapy it works in a similar fashion. You have to keep on working at it in order to get better. Now, there is no cure for stuttering, but there is treatment. But you must put in the work and the effort in order to uh, to get better. So I have to keep reading this book where I can basically read anything because I already have the know-how and, and all of the knowledge to uh, to practice my speech now. And so... It just it's it's all up to me now to practice my speech and to get better. So wh while I'm filming or not, I will still have a little bit of a slight speech impediment, more or less. It all depends on a variety of factors. If I'm filming, I may stutter a little bit more versus when I'm not filming, I may stutter less. So it's it's going it's going to depend on several factors, and now it depends as well if you're nervous or not nervous. If you're on stage and you're speaking in front of ten thousand or so people, or, or on whatever it is, is is going to vary. Now those situations you have to learn on how to relax. So you can't be tensed up, otherwise you won't be able to speak properly. And so everybody has somewhat of a speech impediment, whether they are aware of it or not aware of it. Somebody has, everybody has some form of speech impediment, whether you believe it or not. And... All people eventually will stutter more or less, but it will not, for some people, it will not be obvious. So everybody has uh, different levels of stuttering. Now, my stuttering is very mild. It's not on the extreme side. I have improved it over the years. I just need to keep on practicing it's I, I say that I have a very mild a stuttering. It's not that bad. It's it's very brief. Now it 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 could be worse or it could be less worse here and there depending on the situation. So now the older that you get, you start to see on what life is really about. So these things don't matter anymore. This is this is a this is a god given thing everybody has been given uh, their own their own uh, blessings or and whatever it is so anything that you have i consider a blessing it doesn't matter and uh, i don't know on what you guys believe in i don't want to get into the details but uh, i believe that that this life is a test and so on whatever we are given we we are being tested with these uh, uh trials and and tribulations i've had people they they have mocked me and laughed at me and they made they made uh, fun of me devalued on who i was it's just all kinds of nasty things so i just i try to focus on the on the good people in life and i filter out all of the, the negativity i just wanted to say uh, to be careful on how you treat people because you never know that someday that if especially if you're making fun of somebody who stutters you never know because uh, maybe someday that god give you a disease and you may stutter yourself. So you never know. Always always be happy on what you have. Because you never know that it, it may be taken away from you someday. I'm not trying to be a pessimist. But it's something I wanted to bring out to you guys. To make sure that you enjoy every moment of life. 
treat others with uh, honesty and kindness and don't treat people badly because you never know if you treat people the wrong way you you could lose you could lose everything in just a, a, a blink of an eye now things are a little bit slow for the month of uh, february usually january february and march are the slowest time of the year and also the tax season is coming up soon and so uh, right now I haven't been getting that much work. And so I'm just talking about several topics that, that I can, uh, that I can uh, come up with. And so in case if you guys have any topics that you want me to discuss about, just put it in the comments below. And, uh, and, and I'll see if I can discuss about them in my future videos. So over the years, I have met several people who also have a stuttering issue or a speech impediment. And so uh, I've just learned a few things from those people because they're pretty much in the same boat as I am. It really, to be honest, we're pretty much everybody here on this earth. We're pretty much on the same boat. So really, we're all humans. We're all the same people. So I just don't understand what's 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 up with these people with the poking around and and, and being nasty. It's just it, it's just no good. I also wanted to mention that the, the reason why I started my YouTube channel is because I really wanted to teach people about the automotive industry and how to do the, the car repairs or vehicle repairs. And so because a lot of people that I come across in my day-to-day -day life, they're not really interested in, in automotive. So I told myself, hey, I'll probably, I'll probably uh, start teaching on my own time and, and make some videos and post it on YouTube. So I just I started doing that just to see on, uh, on, on where I go. And so far, things haven't been too bad. It's, uh, it's taking off a little bit slowly. So I really started to enjoy doing the video editing and talking about cars and fixing cars. So it's I don't just do it just for the money. It is a little bit uh, it helps a little bit with the stream of uh, income. And so uh, I really enjoy editing the videos and making videos for you guys and for myself as well. It's really good, and also it uh, it's also is is good for me because if there is something that I can't remember or recall, I just go back to one of my videos and I check it out, and then I say, "Hey, there's information there. I can just follow on on what I did." There's also some technical information that I may not recall anymore. And so when I go to my videos, I can review it as needed and I'll be able to get the information there. My main and whole objective of this YouTube channel is for me to teach you guys on what I know and based on my experience of what I have seen in the automotive industry. And so whatever I have experienced, I just wanted to, to share it with you guys. And the stuff that I share, I always give you a lot of, uh, of tips and tricks because I know I've been into the, the same issue. I've had the same issue in the past. And so I, I don't want you guys to fall in, uh, into the same problem or to make the same mistake that I did. And so now... I'm showing you on how to correct that mistake when I make these uh, YouTube videos for specific 
uh, car repairs. So for the next uh, little while, I'll be doing some videos inside the house, just talking about the popular uh, topics and some topics, some topics that are uh, like are misconceptions and stuff like that. So I'm just trying to figure on what topics to discuss about and to share it with you guys. That's it for today. If you enjoyed this video and found it helpful, please don't forget to give it a like and please consider subscribing to my channel if you're not already a subscriber and I'll see you guys in the next one. Have a good day and take care.